Hello, entrepreneurs. Joe DeChara, CPA extraordinaire, coming to you live from downtown Metro. Where am I, Mary? Metro Manila in the Philippines. <laughs> I've, moved around, I've moved around so much. I'm like, where am I? In Long Island? Yeah. Anyway, we are here again with my good friend, partner, uh, partner in crime, Marianne Labonetti. And uh, am I pronouncing that right? La Bonette. Oh, La Bonette. <laughs> I'm saying it with my broken accent. La Bonette. Also, La Bonette. Known, it sounds like a, a French name, but the, that's okay. Uh, yes. I like it. I like it. But I, I also like, Co she's also known as Coach Yan Yan. Uh, also, uh, this year, 20 this is for 2023 that you're number 17 on linkedin yeah number 17 out of the top 100 uh philippine uh influencers uh to follow on on linkedin so if you're not following her uh you need to connect with her she's got what are you you're up to twenty-seven thousand connections 29. Right? oh now it's 29 couple of weeks ago it was 27 28 29 going 29 wow going pretty 20, soon 20. you'll be uh you'll be up to a hundred thousand uh yes we'll we'll throw a party cool. when, when you get this <laughs> sure sure so you know this is the fourth installment we started uh about a month ago just to talk about interview techniques and how to close sales uh Coach Yan Yan is probably uh, the best that I've ever seen at uh, lead generation, closing sales. She's got her own uh, system. And when I say probably the best, I'm doing this for a long time. I'm doing this probably longer than, than most of you have been alive. So <laughs> that, that's a pretty long time. And... Uh, so what happened was, you know, we we started talking and I realized, you know, we didn't even t touch the tip of the iceberg. And, and we decided to do this uh, until we finish, until we cover the whole, uh, you know, LinkedIn profile. That That's one of the things, you know, when, when so we just had the jumpstart event, right? And almost every every speaker talked about optimizing your LinkedIn profile. So I, mm -hmm. I think before you go out there, uh, this is by far, uh, in my opinion, probably you need to do this first before you start going out there interviewing for, for positions, even trying to get clients. Uh, yes. would, you, would you agree with that? coach definitely yeah that's the first thing that they need to do even if you're even actually if you're getting a job even in your corporate or starting a freelancing career before creating an account on Upwork, create an account on online jobs creating a pages so first things first is the linkedin profile yeah so what i learned at at our event was there's over a billion LinkedIn users. One billion. One billion. How many are in the Philippines? 12 we million should... right now. Wow, 12 million. Around 12 million. And how many? So, and you know, really, and we had a meeting about the Jumpstart community this afternoon. I think we accomplished a lot. And one of the things, you know, I, I focus on the U.S., and, and it dawned on me, you know, what we're doing with Jumpstart is we really want what we narrowed it down to is we're going to, you know, help people start their own freelance accounting agency, correct? Yes. And, you know, sometimes because I'm so, you know, focused, I realized during the meeting because I wanted to put your U.S. tax agency right and then you you all uh vetoed me and rightly so because 
it's the whole world, right? The whole world has has a shortage of accountants. So you can go to Australia, Canada. Uh, if you speak Spanish, you can go to Mexico, probably anywhere. South Africa. I didn't realize what a big market there is in South Africa. So think about that. Think about all the different LinkedIn users in all of those countries that most of them are looking for, they, they all, this is a war, war, it's like a worldwide epidemic that there's a shortage of accountants. So mm -hmm. let's just recap before I go on. We got a bunch of people that are, are watching live. And Hi, for those are, 10 million, around 10 million viewers are watching. Hi. <laughs> 10 million. So we have yeah. Catherine. Hey, Catherine. We got Juan. We have uh, Aaron, both. Catherine and Aaron are on the Bedrock team. Uh, Christine, we have uh, Brian Aquino. So thank you all for uh, supporting us and, and uh, being part of this. If you're watching live, give, give us a hashtag live. And if you're watching the replay, uh, give us a hashtag replay. We just got uh, Charm, Excel, and Zaria. So we got you. And I know these people aren't following me. They're following you, Marianne. So this, <laughs> this is probably... I share to the community. Hi, good evening, hunting. Yeah, let's... Uh, thank you, ladies. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, let's recap what we've covered so far, because I, I think the first week, uh, we just did like a general uh, you know, interview, how, you know, how to close an interview, how to how to close a, a client. And, and we realize, I think, talking that there's really two types of closings. If you're going for a position with the firm or if you're closing a client, correct? Yeah. And then we started getting into the LinkedIn and I realized we, we could write a book just on LinkedIn. And mm. so you covered, and I'm looking at your LinkedIn profile right now. So if you really want... You know, so Marion doesn't just talk about this. She she actually does it. I remember I had a friend, I, and he he used he used to put on big big events. I'm talking five, six, seven hundred people at events, and he was a marketing uh, marketing expert. Uh, and he would tell us to do stuff, and then he would say, you know, he'd be like, oh, you got to do a YouTube channel. Meanwhile, he had three videos on his YouTube channel. He was telling us to do all this stuff. And he'd say, like, by the way, I'm not really doing this stuff. But Coach Yanyan, you actually walk the walk. You don't just uh, talk about this stuff, right? I have to. I need to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. So if you want real proof, just if you're not following Coach Yanyan on LinkedIn, just follow her and just take a look at her uh, profile. Uh, and what I see here, I lose. so Luz is yeah. watching. Hi, Luz. Yeah, Luz is supposed to be working, so I don't know why she's watching. <laughs> <We're> working. She, <laughs> hopefully, she's she she's good at multitasking. Yeah. Now we found out. Now we found out she has a son doing a lot of the work. So. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Luz, no outsourcing your bedrock work to your son. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I might want to interview him soon. He's 13 years old. And he's, Possible, uh, together with my son. Yeah. <laughs> because they're both talking in English, so it's very easy for them to to, to, yeah. to, to have this kind of uh, webinar. <laughs> Yeah, and this is all like for me, you know, when I started fax machine was like strange technology. Kids today, they, they're growing up with this. And uh, actually one of my, the, one of the people I follow, Simon Sinek, he, he did a whole uh, thing on this about the, uh, actually he talked about the millennials and how they grew up. But now we have a whole, you know, like, like Luz's son and your son. I mean, they grew up with, with cell phones, right? So anyway, I'm getting off the topic here. What we covered so far is <laughs> yes. 
really what we covered was the top part of of the profile you said you gotta you gotta have a professional headshot correct mm -hmm. so yes. you know a lot of people uh can't afford a professional headshot okay now i'm looking at your headshot you look very pretty uh but you have a plain background right oh yeah for the this one for the top 100 for the main photo yeah, yeah. I oh, okay and then you got this nice uh like design around it how did you do that did you do that like in canva uh, no my my team jen taganila is the one who did this i asked her to create me a new banner because the banner that i have before is old school and i want to update emphasizing task wise and of course the accounting people and edit the community so okay. i want yeah yeah and then like you said you have uh on, what do you call this now the banner the banner yes okay. link in banner in canva well, there you, is a link in banner yeah so you could probably do all of this in, in you know canva canva yes it's it's better if you have somebody like like coach Anyan has she just delegates it to somebody and i i do the same thing but now in the banner you have mm -hmm. on the top it says task wise va consultancy that's a business that you founded you're the ceo correct yes yeah and then on the right uh you have on a mission to help bookkeepers accountants cpas to become so so it's pretty uh focused right i yeah. like it because it's it's nice and clean and now to what i want to do is go tonight i want to cover below the banner okay, yes what, so you have a bunch of uh things here we're going to go through it uh on, yeah on i website. added yeah yeah uh, so let's just go so you have your name uh now it's just first nice. that, that means that i'm a first i'm directly connected with you right yes okay and then you have task ceo task wise uh then you got a little uh separator then you got bni seamless hiring process freelance bookkeepers coach top 17 filipino to follow on linkedin uh communicate more effectively with clients excel at closing deals and last but not least i think this is the most important thing awesome mom yeah and then under that you have san santo thomas uh, I guess that's the person. Yeah, it's Batangas, Philippines, and then the contact information. Right. So that's the jungle, right? Mm -hmm. Is that the jungle? Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. So you got a you got a lot of stuff up there. B and I is yes. a networking group. So I guess anybody that's in B and I, they're gonna see that. And that's yeah. That's Brock. my goal. That's yeah. my goal to to attract BNI because you know I'm get I have to create a lead. So there's a 325 BNI members. So I'm looking for I'm looking for them. Actually, so two things. I don't think you do anything without having a good reason. Okay, that that's why I want to go through each one of these. So BNI is the biggest <clears throat> network group in the world. Mm -hmm. okay you, you have what 325 in your local members no no yeah. all over the world i yeah i yeah based on google <laughs> 325 oh, yeah. members they probably got they're the biggest they probably got a, i was in b and i groups I started B and I groups mm -hmm. so that's what larry broughton calls an affinity group so right away if a b and i member yeah. sees you they're going to say oh she's in b and i so they have a connection uh seamless mm -hmm. hiring process why would you have that up there so i should be i'm thinking to replace that one that's why seamless hiring process because now i'm focusing 
now on creating or giving services to those accounting firm, actually growing accounting firm, rapid growth accounting firm, and startup business owners who wants to, you know, delegate their hiring process because it, it's a lot of time. It takes three yeah. to one month to get the right candidate for them. Oh, absolutely. So I know we talked uh, yesterday, or was it Sunday? It was, yeah, yesterday was Sunday. Today's Monday. Uh, yeah. We talked about this because I ran into the same problem as your client did. And what you told me, what he did was, you know, you gave him a price and he said, oh, I can go on onlinejobs.ph and get, get somebody for less money. And yes. you said, okay, go try that. And he, I think he ran into the same problem I did. First of all, we ran out of, uh, there's not, how could I say this? There weren't enough candidates that could, that were able to jump through my hoops. Does that, does that make sense? Because I, I don't want yeah. just people that were looking for a job. I wanted them to actually look at, and you know, that was a problem. Uh, and then it takes a long time yes you gotta yeah you gotta look through the last time i put a job post in in that website i got over 100 resumes me i get 200 so it's yeah. very hard so you're doing all the legwork to uh to find good candidates right no i have one who's doing that a hiring yeah, not manager. You. I mean, yeah. task wise, task wise yes. is, is cutting through. Doing the okay, so candidate. that's what the seamless hiring process. And then to finish that story, he came back to you and he said, Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. it. And then send engagement letter and then he signed. And then after the date that he wants to onboard the actually, this is the first day of the candidate today as in today 6 a.m oh, but really? 9 30 yes yeah. so this is the day and there's no yeah. questions asked this she will start today that's it yeah we're gonna get to your uh closing uh tactics because you you have a real uh i love your system on on how you you make it easy for people to make a decision right but now so you also have your freelance bookkeepers coach you got the 17, mm -hmm. uh, top 17 there. Communicate more effectively with clients uh, and closing deals. And, and you know, this, and, and I didn't mean this uh, like as a joke, the fact that you're a mom, mm -hmm. okay? Think of it, and I'm thinking about Larry Broughton again, the affinity groups. There's a lot of moms, right? There's a lot of moms that I think want to work from home. Mm -hmm. probably yeah. millions of them maybe hundreds of them so just the the fact that you put that up there i think is is, is important and then on the side here you got a couple of uh, logos what's a b u it's an affiliations of uh one business also in bni that asks us to have uh it's a business loan actually but uh, it's affiliated, so I just put there as a part timer, like okay. a part time, yeah. Because she know she knows that I have a lot of connection. That when I put there, somebody will, oh, you know. So yeah, that's part of your networking. Then I have a sub agent already, so I have three sub agents under me. So I'm also a recruiter. You know what I mean? So I can recruit people. <laughs> so they know they they I can bring people to their to their own to their company. Okay. So. You're, you're a busy woman. Uh, and then you have University of the East. That's my school. That's your school. Alma mater, yeah. And then on the butt, you say visit my website. Is that normal? I got to look at my... my uh... Yes, there is. Okay. And so... I put my link tree. Okay. That must be under more. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, and then they, they can message you, but you got a lot of information 
right. Mm -hmm. and you, I didn't even have to scroll down yet. Yeah. And I think I, I pretty much have a really good idea of who you are and, and what you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe. So how does somebody that doesn't have a LinkedIn profile or has one and wants to up, update it, how did you how did you decide what you were going to put here? Actually, I also attended one of the webinar on LinkedIn that, yeah, it makes sense that when, because people will actually Google your name after for any applications or any clients that you want to, to work with. So you first thing that you want to do is check on Google and the first thing that will up is the LinkedIn. So LinkedIn will, because the span uh, attention of the people right now is I think seven seconds. So once you put on LinkedIn, you just, they will just seconds. check your three seconds, your name, and then what 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 you should doing. So in in that in that part, you already say what can you do to them. What I mean is, what is the the result that you can give to them or solving their problem, without reading the any details below your LinkedIn profile. Right. So let me Google you. Yes. Try to Google my name. I'm going to make sure I spell it right. right. Uh, oh, actually, somebody's above you. Sponsored. So that means somebody, <laughs> I think what that means is somebody uh, looked at you as somebody that people are tracking, and they're actually paying mm -hmm. to be above you. Mm -hmm. That's a compliment. <laughs> but then, yeah. You come up right LinkedIn. away, and yeah, and in the uh, after the the link to you, it has all that stuff. CEO of Taskwise, uh, images, videos related to me. So right, right. There's images. Uh, then you have one of your videos, news, yeah, and this videos. Is all oh my god. So this is all. Yeah, there's a lot of videos. And then another uh, link to uh, LinkedIn and also BNI. So I think what th this is a lesson. People should just go on there because I'm going to do it now. Uh, Google your name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Google. I always tell them search your name because when I'm applying, right, if you see the company, you will check the name of the client search in google and then next will be linkedin but if you search the name on google it comes to linkedin it's verified identity that's it yeah. they have what they call uh domain authority i'm learning about this because i'm uh i'm doing seo research so linkedin is 99 so i think the top you can have is is 100 so you're all the, but then it's not just LinkedIn. You got BNI, you got something called Inch, I N T C H, and they say accountant task wise. Then you got Facebook, uh, YouTube, you got, and then uh, Instagram. Yeah, but I'm not active on Instagram. Soon, TikTok. I'm still learning how to do. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I just learned how to link my Facebook to Instagram. So I don't know if it's working, but uh, mm -hmm. the, according to what I read, all of my Facebook posts are going to Instagram now. So, all right. So that, that pretty much covers the top. Okay. And then we have highlights. Does everybody have highlights? Mm, is checking. there, do you get like, this is what I want in LinkedIn? Like some of these places, if they, they have, okay, I want this. And then, yeah, I don't know. Unless, okay, it says, Marianne was recently hired. 
this comes from the sales navigator at ABU, the finance. Yeah, and then the it one says, I mentioned. Yeah. The, it says you're following my company. Show all five highlights. You post on LinkedIn. You okay? So that just gives me some of your information. Then you got your about info. And you write steering the helm at Taskwise VA Consultancy, and you give them, you give people a uh, a rundown of of what Taskwise is, right? Mm. And then you say your top skills are problem solving. Am I? I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> My skills? I think I should add not not only problem skills. Well, I don't know. Is this something that yeah. you or you know? No, it, you can add. I don't I don't remember when I do I'm doing my profile be, way back twenty eighteen or way back okay. two thousand one. But because there's an option there to put your top skills. So maybe it shows problem solving, maybe. I yeah. also don't Okay, so you know, to be honest with you, for me if I want to know about about you, I I think I've already gotten enough. But then when I scroll down, uh, so it much. has your activity. It shows me that you got twenty eight thousand followers, right? Now, followers just anybody you connect with, correct? It's a mix. Now, somebody every time I post, somebody will especially the hiring. I get a lot of connection recently when I post hiring the most impressions that I got I post a hiring on bookkeeper it 7,000 normally I get only 6,000 impression this is the oh, highest wow. I'm tracking my activities so meaning there's a lot of bookkeepers and accountant looking for a job so that's why we really have to you know look for a client or business owners that they need bookkeeper so so That's it. yeah, I think that goes to the fact of you know a lot of people are looking for accountants. I mean that's that's just my guess. So Hershey just wrote, uh, "Wow, coach, I learned something new again." I googled my name, and the first thing that appeared is yes, LinkedIn your LinkedIn profile. profile. Thank so you, Hershey. You really, yeah, so you really got to make sure that your your profile is, is updated. Then you have, and th so this is what I wanted to talk about, because then you have on, on below all your experience, okay? Business manager, chief financial officer, uh, chief executive officer. Just a lot. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of different, uh, th Hats. this is your, uh, I guess, your career experience, right? Yeah. So these are jobs that you've had, your positions. Now, how does this differ from a resume? So actually it's almost the same, but it highlights your skills because on your resume, normally they just put, you know, the responsibilities uh, and the tasks. This one is your skills. Okay, I see that under task wise. Uh, now this is task types. Is that the same thing as task wise? No, it's like a freelance uh, CFO, fractional CFO, just a startup. But yeah, then uh, okay. yes. So yeah. you can see so like, after the name is there is a skills. So we right, have to right. check the skills. So. Uh, maybe sometime we got to talk about time management because I don't know. You're like Elon Musk. You know, Elon Musk is running like six different major companies. <laughs> People know about uh, what do you call it? SpaceX and Tesla, but he's got four other major companies that he's running. Uh, but yeah, so down no, here. I, I, I will share that one now. What is the, the, the secret? I've learned that there's no such thing as time management. Only, uh, what do you call that one? You just have to really know how to manage your energy. Ah, that's something I never heard. Manage your energy. 
yeah. Uh, yeah. For example, morning, you have to do all the stuff that is high energy, high impact on your, on your, on your, on your business. So meaning morning, you have to talk to someone, post something, and then the rest of the day, you can, uh, right before this, I go to the gym. So I already done the things that is important to me. So, But at least at, at the very least, the morning, you already done the most high impact, especially on your business. So do you, so in the morning, is that when you do all your social media stuff? Yes. I mean, sometimes before I sleep, I create, I have some content in my mind. I put it on my notes and then look for a pictures and then create a content from that. So then morning I'll post. So at least I have already done the, sure. the high energy. Okay. I get that. Yeah. You know, I've read that. I've read that in the past. Uh, you just reminded me, but let's talk about, okay. So I think we've covered just about everything that, that I could think of on LinkedIn, but you just mentioned something that, that I see you doing all the time on social media. You take a lot of pictures. I think every, every, all the Filipinos take a lot of pictures. I say this is the country. <laughs> Uh, but you take a lot of pictures, uh, including when you go to the gym, right? You post them, and, and you're sharing with people what's going on in your life. So Tell the you, story. Yeah, but now you're, you're getting... So now everybody knows, and th- I tried this. So I started going to the gym, and I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what Marianne does. I'm going to post you know, pictures of me on the treadmill and I went there for two yes. weeks and then I stopped. And then I stopped. I know. <laughs> like, oh my God, I hope nobody remembers that I was posting that. So you put yourself out there, right? Yeah, because I also learned sometimes you have to post your goals because it makes you accountable. You have already posted that last January. I'm go- going to the gym. So the people that see the post that I'm going to the gym will watch over you, meaning they will monitor your activities. So, so ego, ego, or uh, ego side, I have to prove that I'm doing it and I, I have to prove that I, you can do it. You, you mentioned you have to, you should be walk the talk. So every time I post something, although before I really love pictures, why? Because it makes a memories and at it tells stories every every moment that you have, like right? so every yeah. every event, your realization, and then when you go back next year, what you have done last year. So what is right? Are you next talking about like this? on Facebook? It tells you, oh, four years ago you were doing this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then you post a lot of pictures of, of your son, your family. I know your son recently had a birthday. Uh, you're posting pictures of the jungle all the time. And it seems like you're always eating at restaurants. Not Is anymore. You know? <laughs> oh, because anymore. I have, it's a gym, so you have to monitor, of course, your, what you're eating. But, yeah, I love yes. going to the fancy well, I know. Listen, I go to restaurants with you all the time, and you just uh, you stick to your, your meal plan. <laughs> and I got to tell you, I started because you you told me the intermittent fasting. Uh, I think it's working. I, I only eat between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. So I'll, yeah. keep, I'll keep you posted. Because you know what? I told you last jumpstart that I soon I'll be a fitness instructor. <laughs> so you will be my first customer if ever. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so what else? Uh, we covered a lot. Uh, also, last but not least, what you also share your pain. You know, I like that you share, you know, the things that you've gone through. And, uh, you, you know, I think it, it Vulnerability. shows. People, yeah, vulnerable. Yeah, that's what you call it. You got to show people that. And, you know, again, we went, to, we had the Jumpstart event, and then we had Sherry Pineda's event. And I think every single speaker spoke about how hard it was. 
because people see, oh, Struggle. Mary is so yeah. successful. Uh, you know, uh, all the people, uh, Stephen C., right? Cap Hernandez, Larry, Larry brought, okay? They see, oh, this guy's successful. He was, you know, always. No, it's not like that, right? I'm asking you, is it? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm listening to you. No, I am, I'm waiting for your answer. No, because, yeah, they just only see the the fruit of the hard work, but they didn't see. That's why we're sharing the process of getting there. Yes. Which is the very, sometimes the people tend to forget that, the process. They just see the result, but they they should embrace the process. Yes, thank you for that. All right, so I think that that wraps up the, the LinkedIn optimization. We'll, we'll talk again next week because I want to get into uh, your lead generation techniques. And then, you know, it's there's one thing to get a lead, but then you got to close them, right? Yes. So you you have a combination. Some people are good at leads. Some people are good at closing. All right. Uh, I'm not good at either one of those. <laughs> I have other talents, but I wanted I want you to share with everybody your secret sauce to you know getting people into the funnel and closing. Them. Does that sound good? Sounds good next week so right. stay tuned <laughs> so that's our story we're, we're sticking with it uh thank you all for for being Bye. here and as always uh i want to invite you if, if you're watching one of our videos you can book a chat with me uh if you want to talk about your business okay i don't talk about relationships or raising children Okay, if you want if you want that kind of advice, you can you can go somewhere else. Uh, and Marianne, how do people contact you? Yeah, on LinkedIn. So you just search Marianne Labonete on LinkedIn, YouTube Yanyan Labonete, and Facebook Yanyan Labonete. Freelancer yeah, Yan. Yeah. Just Google. Just Google Marianne. Just Google my name now. <laughs> that's, All right. that's, that's the key. All right. So God bless everyone. Thank you, Marianne, for another insightful, uh, episode. And we will see you next week. Again. Next Thanks, week. Bye, guys. Good evening. Bye-bye.